Just who do you think you are, cutting in front of me like that, huh? You've really got some nerve, do you know that? I mean, who even are you anyways? The cleaning staff or something? Why the heck is some old hag like you even here in the first place, huh? I'm sorry, but what is this all about? I don't even have your number saved in my phone. In fact, the one who should be asking questions around here is me. For instance, why in the world did you throw that plate right at my head? <laughs> I'm just glad that my aim was dead on. I was almost scared that it would go flying past you and hit someone else. But you can really only blame yourself for getting hit with that plate. I mean, I didn't have any other means of getting rid of you. And you still haven't answered my question about just what you think that you were doing here in the first place anyways. So, why don't you go ahead and answer me first instead? I mean, seriously? You were holding a mop. Are you even invited to this thing? Uh, are you part of the cleaning staff here? <gasps> or did you just try and break into this wedding and thought the mop would make a good disguise? I will have you know that I am invited to this event and I am supposed to be here. I've done nothing wrong at all. So what I want to know is why you threw a plate at my head just because I walked past you. That was completely uncalled for. Maybe next time you should watch where you are walking, and especially who you're walking around. You really had some nerve just walking in front of me as if I was a nobody. Don't you know who I am? I really wish that sometimes we all had to wear badges that showed how important we were so that then losers like you would be forced to reckon with how useless you are compared to winners like me. What in the world are you talking about? I I'm serious, is there something wrong with you? Should I call someone to come here and take care of you or something like that? Oh, well, I am just so happy that you're thinking of my well-being. But I don't need anyone's help for anything. Thank you very much. But if anyone around here needs their head checked, then... It is you for thinking that you could just walk in front of me and cross my path like that. Next time, remember your place and don't ever get in my way again. Do you understand me? I won't be asking twice and the punishment for next time will be two times what I gave you. You're just a guest at this wedding too, right? Judging by where you're seated, I'm going to guess that the groom is just your boss from work, right? So why in the world are you acting so uppity and self-important at a wedding that isn't even yours to begin with? And just who do you think you are to be talking to me like that, huh? Haven't you realized that I'm the better person than you in all of this? Don't you realize you're fighting a losing battle? After all... <laughs> you were holding a mop. <laughs> I don't care if you were invited. You were clearly just brought over to clean up once everyone is done. Maybe next time I'll throw some wet rags at you so you can clean even better. <laughs> Honestly, what is the matter with you? So what if I was just a member of the cleaning staff here at the wedding venue? You still shouldn't treat people like this. But I think you've given me more than enough information to know exactly what kind of person you are. And now you're trying to tell me that you're not just another member of the cleaning staff? I suppose it really doesn't matter what your job is here. Everyone here from the office is beneath my position anyways. But I guess that's what separates me from all the other rubes. I'm the only one here who realizes that in this world, it's eat or be eaten. Clearly, everyone else is too busy being eaten to smarten up and live like me. Right, yeah. You are exactly the kind of person that I think you are. And that is not a good thing, let me tell you that much. Whatever. You just watch yourself next time. Or else. Got it? Because you're already on thin ice being such a poor loser and showing up to a wedding like this. Anyways, I made quite the mess when I threw that plate at your head earlier while you were walking in front of me. So why don't you find a broom and clean it up? Huh? 
You know that you're not going to get away with this, right? I'll make sure of that. Oh, yeah? And just what are you going to do about it, huh? <laughs> Hey, Tina! Are you okay? Where'd you run off to? I'm sorry, I'm in the changing room right now. I just needed to set myself straight after all that happened. And I think I also just need to sit down and catch my breath before I change my clothes. Are you sure you're okay, though? I mean, I heard the sound of a plate breaking and people screaming, and I was really, really worried. I really am okay. Thanks for asking, though. That was just all the doing of Rosalyn. Can you believe that she threw a plate at me? So that's what happened. But wait. Why in the world would Rosalyn do that to you? What was she trying to accomplish? I think she was trying to hit me with a plate. And I think that she did accomplish it. I guess she thought that I was a member of the cleaning staff for her company or something like that? I didn't realize that I was crossing her path, though. And that's why she got upset and did what she did to me. But I'm just glad she didn't hit me somewhere where it could have been really dangerous. Yeah, that's good at least. But still, I can't believe that she would do that to you! That's totally crazy! And I just feel so bad that I couldn't do anything to stop her at all. Well, I think we should just be grateful that nobody else got hurt in that little stunt of hers. Maybe some people's suits and dresses got hit with food, but that's still better than suffering any kind of injury. And you really shouldn't be blaming yourself for any of this, you know? I mean, I also feel guilty for knowing that a girl like that works for the company. I know. But now that I know what caused all the commotion, I think that she and I will have to have a little talk. I mean, I was really excited when we hired her on, but I had no idea that she was such a loose cannon. Here I thought we were really being able to count on her. Well, I guess sometimes these kinds of people make it through the interview process, don't they? But anyways, she still seems to think that I'm just a member of the cleaning staff. She keeps ordering me to clean up messes around the venue. What's the matter with her? Doesn't she realize that she's acting like a child in front of all her colleagues who are also at this wedding right now? I just don't even know if she realizes that what she's doing is bad. I mean, I don't think she even has that level of self-awareness. But all that she is doing right now is just sabotaging herself in front of half the company she just got hired to work for. You're right. And we can't let her get away with this. Especially after she tried to target you for one of her attacks. I can't just sit back and do nothing about this. I mean, especially not when it's a big special day like this. We can't let her make it all about whatever she wants it to be. I appreciate how worked up you're getting, Ivan, but I'm just grateful that I and no one else were injured in all of this. Maybe you should just take a breath and try to calm down before the wedding starts, don't you think? Like you said, this is a big special day and we shouldn't let what some crazy lady does ruin it, right? You might be right about that, Tina, but just please be careful. I would hate for something else like this to happen today. Well, I am sure that if Rosalind had any idea about who I really was, that she would feel really foolish about what she just did. I really can't believe that you actually did that. I mean, really? What is the matter with you? Literally, how did you even make this big of a mess in the time that I was away? I, I just don't get it. Don't you realize what a mess you're making here and what a bother you're being to everyone else here? Don't you have any shame at all? The only one who should be ashamed here is you. Of not doing your job as the cleaning lady, that is. Now hurry up and start cleaning this place up right now. After all, it is why you were invited here, right? You're just here to be a cleaning lady and nothing else? 
Now chop chop, get sweeping. You know, it really, really pains me to have to do this on a day like today. But you really are leaving me with no other choice through your behavior. I am not going to be cleaning anything. In fact, you made this mess, so you are going to clean it up right now. <laughs> are you crazy? Have you seriously lost your mind or something? Just why in the world would I do your job for you? You're the cleaning lady, and I'm the real employee. So when I point to something and tell you to clean it, I don't want to hear any back talk. You need to shut up and do as I say. You are cleaning staff, and it is your job to clean. Do you understand me? I really just don't even know how to deal with someone who thinks like you. I mean, why is all this cleaning falling to me anyways? I thought I told you that I was getting tired of you talking back to me. I told you that your job was to listen to me when I say something needs to be cleaned, and then clean it. Don't you know that I'm a fast track to the top of this company? You're nobody compared to me, and it's high time you showed me some respect. You should be lucky that you still even have your job after all of this talking back to me that you have been doing. Now, if you want to earn a living in this world, you'll get your mop and start cleaning. Hmm. It sounds to me like you're really, really happy about getting your job at this company, aren't you? And just who are you to make that kind of claim about me, huh? You don't know me. Just shut up and do your job already. I've never had to deal with help as rude as you. You really are full of yourself, aren't you? But are you sure you know who you're really talking to right now? You make that sound like a bad thing. Of course I'm self-confident when I'm dealing with little peon nobodies like you. You're literally no one. You have no idea what I've had to do to get to where I am. I graduated at the top of my class with amazing grades, and that's how I got my job at one of the largest companies in the whole country. Besides, I have plans for my section head. After all, he's not bad on the eyes, and I'm sure that if him and I got together, we could make sure that our careers went exactly the way that we wanted them to. After all, you know what they say, right? To get ahead in life, it's all about who you know. But I just mean that you sound so confident that all those things are going to come true for you. Of course, it's important to have good grades and a strong resume. But you know that companies care about character as well, right? <laughs> Just why is a little worm like you talking to me about my character, huh? You don't know a single thing about me. Now, why aren't you on the floor with a rag cleaning up the mess that I have ordered you to clean up several times now? I'm not cleaning because I've already told you that I won't be, and that you are going to clean up the mess that you made. Now, take responsibility for what you have done and start mopping. <laughs> you think that I'm going to clean up that mess? That's rich coming from a little cleaning lady like you. You must really be stupid or something. <laughs> Besides, where is your proof that I made this mess, huh? Don't you realize just how lucky you are to even be here? The least you can do is clean up to show your gratitude. After all, the real reason you were invited was probably just to clean up after everything is done here. Hmm, are you sure about that? You sure talk as if you know everything that's going on around here, don't you? And just what's wrong with talking like that if I do know everything that is going on around here, huh? You really need to learn who you're talking to. I mean, just what was the CEO of my company thinking, inviting a loser nobody like you to his wedding like this? Sometimes I just don't know what goes on in that head of his. Hmm. Well, I have a few hunches of how I might have ended up here. But the one that seems the most likely is that 
I'm here to marry my fiance. Wait, what? What is that supposed to mean? Is there a second wedding going on here or something like that? No, nothing like that. It's just that your CEO who is getting married today had to be getting married to someone, right? Anyways, if I were you, I would really start getting to cleaning up that mess of yours before it's too late. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I still don't get what it is that you were trying to tell me with all of that. I mean, is your head okay? Are you just living in some kind of dreamland or something like that? Hmm. I guess you really don't know as much as you think. I would ask some of the other guests if you don't believe me. Oh, trust me, I will. I'll ask them if they can believe that a lowly nobody like you act actually thinks that they are going to marry the CEO of my company. In fact, maybe I'll go up and ask the CEO himself, and then we can have a long laugh about how delusional you are. Yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. Why don't you go ahead and do that, then? Hi there, boss. This is Rosalyn. I just wanted to thank you again for for inviting me to your amazing wedding. I really am so, so happy to be here. But I just had one little question for you. Uh, who is it that you are going to be getting married to today? I don't think that I even know who your fiancé is. What the heck are you doing messaging me right now, huh? Boss, I said it was me, Rosalyn. You know who I am. I'm only trying to ask about who it is that you are going to be marrying today since we are all here for your wedding. Because I was talking to this crazy cleaning lady from our office and get this. <laughs> she said that she was supposed to be the one marrying you today. <laughs> I told her that she was crazy and she told me to go and ask you. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. And yes, She's gonna be my wife! Wait, what? What do you mean by that? I take it that wasn't the answer that you were looking for, right? But it's true. She's my wife, and I'm very proud to be marrying her. But... I... Oh, hold on a second, I don't understand. What's going on here? This doesn't make any sense at all. What doesn't make sense to me is why you think that you can treat my bride the way you've been at her own wedding! Don't you have sense of shame about yourself at all?! But, I mean, this still isn't adding up at all. So then... You're the CEO of a company and you're going to marry... some cleaning lady? And just what's so wrong about that? Do you have a problem with my choice of spouse or something? No, of course not. There's nothing wrong with wanting to marry whoever you love, of course. But I guess what I'm really confused about is why you two are getting together in the first place. You said so yourself, didn't you? Because of love. I don't think that I need to explain myself any more than that to you, do I? Right, no, of course not. I mean, I'm sh sure that she's a really wonderful person, of course, but I just... Well, don't you think that you'd be better off marrying someone a little closer to your... status? You really are showing everyone just what, what kind of person you really are today, aren't you? But there's something you should know. I... As CEO of this company, think of all my workers in equal light. Though everybody may have different jobs, get different wages, and have different regulations, I want everybody in my office to be able to get along. Or at the very least, treat each other like equals. Of course, I think it's totally reasonable as the head of a hierarchical structure to think that just wanting equality is enough to overcome material differences in livelihoods. 
Well, of course it can. That's just how the world works. But what I want to know is why you had the nerve to throw that plate at my fiancé! You mean that you heard about me doing that? Just answer the question right now! Don't you know that you have to obey whatever your boss tells you to, even outside of work? Well... The reason I threw the plate was because I had no other choice. I mean, that's not it. It's because my hand slipped. That's right, my, my hand slipped. And that's really what you want to go with? You just want to say that your hand slipped and that's all that happened? Um, yes. I mean, of course that's what happened. I was there, so I should know, right? I see. Well, I think I know all I need to know in that case. What do you mean by that? What do you mean that you know all you need to know in this case? What are you going to do? Tina, are you there? I just wanted to say that I am so, 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 so sorry for what I did to you. I really had no idea that you and Ivan were engaged to be married. I had no idea that you were my boss's fiance. I really don't care at all about your apologies, Rosalind. But I want to know who is going to pay for all the damage that you caused. The damage that I caused? <laughs> what do you mean the damage that I caused? A and what do you mean who is going to pay for it? I don't get what you're trying to say. You mean you really think that breaking plates, wasting foods, splattering people's clothes with bits of brunch are all just going to be swept under the rug? <laughs> I don't think so. Especially not when it's clear that you've done no reflection on your actions at all. But I... Of course I reflected. I came to apologize to you for what I did because I didn't know who you were, did I? Not only that, but you also stained the carpet of our wedding venue with the mess that you caused. And even though the carpet is probably the least expensive thing that you'll have to pay for, just know that you will be charged for that as well. But then, how much money am I looking at having to pay? And are you really going to make me pay for every little mess that happens at a wedding? I would say you are probably looking at about... one quarter of a million dollars with all this? And that's only including all the messes that you made. Did you think that making a mess in a place like this was going to be cheap? Have you seen where we are right now? But you didn't care. You just wanted to live in your little fantasy world of hierarchy where you can treat people however you want. Wait, wait, please. I, I just, just hold on for a second. I mean, I... How do you even know how much all of this stuff costs? Why do you know how much it would cost to clean a carpet like this? Well, that's because I own this venue. So I should know what everything costs. Wait, what? W what do you mean by that? I, I don't get what you're trying to tell me. What does that mean that you own this venue? That doesn't make any sense at all. Well, let me break it down for you then. Before I owned this place, it belonged to my mother. Then when she died, I took over the family business of running this place. Of course I have other jobs, but also have a staff under me who I can use to help me get the things I need done. Although I am just a bit of a clean freak, so I hope that you're not too surprised that I know just how much it costs to clean up messes. So then, when you were walking around earlier with a mop... <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Why on earth would a bride be mopping at her own wedding? Why would she be doing that when surely a place like this has a staff that would be able to handle messes in a second, right? And yet, after I went at this place with a mop, there wasn't a single square inch that wasn't sparkling. Well, I guess now that you mention it, this place is pretty clean, actually. That's right. But I also helped clean because 
because I hate the idea of others doing something for me that I can do myself. It may be my wedding, but that doesn't mean that I'm some glass doll who can't function on her own. I wanted my staff to see that I mean it when I say they're all equals in my company. Besides, more than anything, I'm just a little bit of a perfectionist. And if things aren't done to my specifications, then I won't be happy. But I've learned that the best way to make sure that happens is just to do the work myself. But I suppose that someone like you has never thought about actually doing something for yourself, have you? It's clear that you expect people like those who work on the cleaning staff to clean up after your messes and take your abuse on top of that. You really are one of the worst kinds of people. Do you know that? You're what's wrong with the world! You mean I'm what's wrong with the world because I look down on people? <laughs> are you kidding me? You literally hurled a glass plate at me because you thought I was a cleaning staff member who walked in front of you. I really don't know what else to say except that you're a terrible person with a terrible worldview. I've met plenty of selfish people in my days, but you have got to be one of the worst. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, jeez. I'll pay whatever the damages are. I know you will. That was never up for debate, Rosalyn. Of course. So then... So what? Well, I was just hoping that you could tell Ivan that I thought about my actions, realized what I did was wrong, and agreed to pay for damages. If you could just tell him all of that? I see what's going on here. You think that you're going to be fired for this and so you want me to talk to your boss for you. Is that right? Come on! I already said that I would pay for everything, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> and you will pay. Trust me. I am going to make sure of that. But who knows? Ivan really is a bit of a pushover. You might be fine. You mean it? <laughs> That's amazing! Thank you so much! Sorry, you didn't let me finish. He might let you off the hook, but I won't as upper management of the same company that you work for. In fact, as head of HR, I have significant power in choosing who does, and doesn't, have a job here depending on their behavior. And I'm afraid that you've proven yourself to be a terrible employee. And for that reason, we have no choice but to fire you. No, wait, hold on. You, you can't actually be serious about that, right? I mean, you're not really going to fire me after I already said that I was sorry and going to be paying for all the damages, are you? Of course I'm going to fire you. It's clear that you haven't really thought at all about why what you did was wrong. And you were going to pay for what you did either way. You were never ever going to get out of paying for the damage that you caused. And then when you have paid for everything, I'll fire you. It really is quite a simple process if I'm being honest. But come on, don't you think that you're taking things just a little bit too far with all of that? I really don't think that I've even started to take it nearly far enough for what you deserve. And you should know that I have significant pull in this town. Lots of people know me at all the companies that you might think to job hunt at. So I suppose that you might have some real trouble in the job market in the future? You mean that you would really sabotage my whole career just over this? That's taking this whole thing way too far now! Well, don't worry. I'm sure you will be able to find another job in another field. But you are going to be put on a blacklist in this industry until the end of time. You can't be serious about that. Please, you have to forgive me. Don't do this to me, I'm begging you. Oh, this can't be happening to me. I refuse to accept it. How, how did it all come to this? Well, it all came to this. When a bride at her own wedding walks past one of the guests there and the guest decides to assault the bride with a plate. I think it's pretty clear to see who is in the wrong when you take a step back and look at it like that. Can't you? 
But, I mean... Please, you have to at least talk to my supervisor. He knows how hard I work for this company and how much I've given. Please, you have to talk to him at least once before you fire me. I, I know that he'll stick up for me. And do you really think whatever he has to say is going to trump all of the security footage of you throwing the plate at me and making a big mess all over the venue? Oh, uh, wait. What do you mean by that? You mean that there was a camera that was recording me the whole time when I threw the plate at you and when I made the mess after you left the room? Are you saying there is footage of me doing all of that? That's right. And while I'm sure your supervisor might be at pains to see you go, the fact of the matter is that we can't be encouraging this kind of behavior among our employers. So I'm sorry, but I really don't see how anything you might be able to mention would ever change my mind about what I'm about to do. I had no idea that a fancy place like this dealing with hundreds of customers and guests day in and day out would have security cameras installed. That's just... It's unthinkable. And it all means that no matter what anyone says, there is always going to be that hard evidence against you. Now I don't want to ever see your face again. Do you understand me? Wait, please, don't do this to me. This is taking things way too far. I mean, you're talking about ending my career. You can't do that. Are you sure about that? You are more than welcome to try and stop me. But if you really think that that position is everything when it comes to working in this company, then you already know that you don't have a chance. After that, Rosalind tried asking her supervisor to step in and try to save her job. He put up a fight and begged me not to go through with my decision, citing all the hard work that Rosalind had put in since she started at the company. But when I showed her the footage from the wedding, he didn't have anything else to say. So, Rosalind was fired from her job. She ended up moving back in with her parents, and I hear that she was becoming something of a recluse now. Although I can't blame her, since after she was fired, she found out that I followed through on my promise to blacklist her from every company in our industry. And to think that she might have had a really great career waiting ahead of her. Hmm. If only she didn't get a huge ego and think she could treat people however she wanted to. I hear that she ended up finding some part-time work at her parents' requests. Though I can hardly imagine with pride like hers lasting at a job like that long. As for Ivan and I, after we chased off Rosalind from our wedding, things finally calmed down and we were able to proceed with the ceremony without any further incident. In fact, after she was gone, many of the guests came up to me and apologized to me for not doing anything about Rosalind before. I told them it was fine and that I understand just how scary a woman like that could be to approach. In the end, I was just happy that everyone was safe and that my marriage was able to happen without any further incident. Thank you for watching! If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.